using File Explorer with your screen reader. The File Explorer window is for exploring files and folders. Folders are storage units for files. Uh, to know exactly what files are or to find out why file management is important, just check out the website. The link is in the description below. Okay, right now we are on our desktop and we'd like to open the File Explorer window. There are several ways to do that, but we're going to use a quick keystroke, Windows E. So I'm going to press and hold my Windows logo key, then press the E and release both. File Explorer window, items view list, frequent folders grouping expanded, desktop not selected row 1 column 1 1 of 8. Great, so we have the File Explorer window open now. Just like the desktop window, the tab key will allow us to, will allow us to move from section to section to section of the File Explorer window. But really, there are several sections, but we are really only interested in two sections in here, and that's the tree view and the items view list. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my tab key to tab around to find the tree view section. Okay. Pressing tab. Status bar, status bar, view modes, grouping, up band toolbar, toolbar, up to desk, address, quick access toolbar, search edit box, edit, Cor tree view, quick access expanded one of two level zero. Right. Now we're at the tree view. Now the tree view is a list of all the folders and drives that are present on your machine so it's a list so we can go ahead and use our up and down arrow through the list i'm gonna do that now I'm gonna press the down arrow level one desktop pinned not checked one of eight downloads pinned not checked two of eight level one documents pinned not checked three of eight level one pictures pinned not checked four of eight level one music five of eight level one saved pictures six of eight level one screenshots seven of eight level one videos eight of eight level one Dropbox collapsed 1 of 4 level 1. OneDrive collapsed 2 of 4 level 1. This PC collapsed 3 of 4 level 1. Network collapsed 4 of 4 level 1. Good. So you can see that there are several, I have several folders and drives there listed in my tree view. And I can use my up or down arrow to go through the list. And just as it is with any other list, in addition to using your up and down arrows, you can also use first letter navigation to go through it. So for instance, if I want to find documents, uh, documents begins with D. So let me press D and see what happens. D. Desktop. Pinned. Not checked. One of eight. Level one. Okay. So first it goes to desktop. That's not what I want. I want documents. I'm going to press D again. D. Downloads. Pinned. Not checked. Two of eight. Level one. Still not what I want. Going again. D. D. Documents. Pinned. Not checked. Three of eight. Level one. Great. Documents. So I have found the folder that I want to open. Press enter to open it. Good. When you open documents, when you enter on any folder or drive within the tree view, the contents of that drive or folder opens in the items view list, which is on the right side of the window. To get to the items view list, we're going to have to jump across by section again. And of course, we're going to use our tab key to do that. Pressing tab and listening for items view list. Items view list. Custom office templates not selected one of three. And it says items view list. And it, it announced the section, which is items view list. And then it went ahead and announced the first item in the list of items in our documents folder. And that's customs folder so now this is also a list of files that are found in our documents folder of course being being a list we can also down arrow through it I'm gonna down arrow and see what other files i have here document one two of three document one technology presentation three of three technology presentation and of course of course first letter navigation will also apply here all right Great, we have explored the contents of our documents folder. All right, let's try another example though. Say we wanted to open the desktop folder, right? So again, we must first navigate to the tree view and to do that, we would have to use the tab key or what we're gonna use right now is shift tab, which 
does the same movement like the tab but shift tab allows you to move in the opposite direction so tab takes you forward section by section shift tab goes in the opposite direction still though section by section so i'm gonna use shift tab in this case because it's quicker to get to the tree view uh, this time around shift tab tree view documents pinned not check three of eight level one okay and it says documents where we left it we want to find this time though desktop i'm going to up arrow to find desktop downloads pinned not checked to desktop pinned not checked one of eight level one right we have found the folder that we want to open in the tree view must press enter on it then after pressing enter in the tree view it would then be time to head back over to the items view list to see the contents so i'm going to use the tab key now to get over to items view list items view list document two not selected one of two it says document two dropbox two of two and dropbox so there are only two files in the desktop great we have learned how to open files open folders in our file explorer window and of course i am on i am seeing what two files inside my desktop folder here document two one of two document two is one of them if i wanted to open either of these files all i would have to do is press enter on it okay all right let's now look at the menu ribbons so the menu ribbon is a bar running along the top of the file explorer window now the file explorer window has different tabs under which different actions that you might want to perform are categorized let us activate the menu ribbon we do so by pressing alt file tab drop down button grid sub menu open new windows change advanced folder and search options and more alt f and the first tab announced there is file and it says drop down file is the only tab that is a drop down menu which means you can literally use your down arrow to go through the actions that are categorized on the file but let us not look at file just now we're gonna explore the other tabs and because it's a it, it's a horizontal bar going across and the tabs are on it going across we can use our left or right arrows so we're gonna use our right arrow to move away from file and go to another tab ribbon tabs tab control home tab sub menu alt h that's home share tab sub menu alt s share view tab sub menu alt b view minimize the ribbon button show the ribbon so that it is always and some other actions okay let us say we wanted to find an action or a function that would be categorized on the home I'm gonna use my left arrow to go back on the home go back onto home ribbon tabs share tab sub menu home tab sub menu alt h good upon reaching home i would have to press enter to open the actions under it desktop window ribbon tabs tab control home tab selected pressed sub menu home property page clipboard grouping pin to quick access button unavailable pin folder to quick access alt h p i and it announces a lot of things but the point is it has opened the lower ribbons lower ribbon which has the actions for home or that are categorized on the home Upon reaching here, you would then use the tab key to find the function that you want. So say we're looking for cut. We would tab until we hear cut. Using tab. Copy button, copy the selected items to the clipboard. Alt, H, C, O. Tab again. Paste button, unavailable, paste the contents of the clipboard to the current location. Alt, H, V. Tab again. Cut button, move the selected items to the clipboard. Alt, H, T. And that is cut. And if I wanted to really use it, you would use the or I would use the enter key. Simple enough, right? Let's do it one more time. Let's try uh, doing that once more. I'm gonna escape to close the menu. Ribbon property page. Escape a couple items times. view list. All right. Activating the menu again, pressing Alt. File tab drop down button, grid sub menu, open new windows, change advanced folder and search options, and more. Alt F. You would then right arrow or left arrow to the tab that you want. In this case, we want home right arrow to here home ribbon tabs tab control home tab sub menu alt h we're on home we're gonna press enter desktop window ribbon tabs tab control home tab selected press sub menu home property page clipboard grouping pin to quick access button unavailable pin folder to quick access alt h p i 
and then tab through the actions until we hear the action that we want. If we're looking for cut, we're going to tab until we hear cut. Copy button, copy the selected items, paste button, unavailable, paste the contents, cut button, move the selected items to the clipboard. And that is cut. Alt. If I really wanted to use it, I would just press enter. That is it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, that's where we leave it for this lesson. Remember, if you want to actually see this in writing, visit the website at blindaccessibilitytips.com or the link for this exact lesson on the website is in the description below. Leave a like on this video if you do like it and leave a comment if you want to see other lessons, let us know, okay? okay.